Welcome back to We Are Reading Virtual Storytime for January 25th, 2021. January 21st was National Squirrel Appreciation Day. In honor of squirrels, we're going to read Squirrels Leap, Squirrels Sleep by April Pulisair, and we're going to make a standing squirrel holding an acorn. Enjoy! Squirrels Leap, Squirrels Sleep by April Pulisair, illustrated by Steve Jenkins. Squirrels rustle, squirrels leap, squirrels climb, squirrels sleep. Meet the squirrels, gray, fox, red, flying squirrel overhead. Tail umbrella, tail is fog, tail for balance zig and zag. Nose for sniffing, jaws to chew, eyes for looking back at you. Paws for climbing, paws to pick, paws for cleaning. Paws, run, quick! Squirrels chirp, squirrels drink. Can you guess what squirrels think? Squirrels reach, squirrels rest in a tree hole or a nest. Squirrels gather, squirrels store. How many seeds? More, more, more! Squirrels stretch. Squirrels yawn. <sighs> Munch the acorns. Are they gone? Five are hidden. Will they sprout? Seedlings push up, up, and out. Trunks grow upward. Trunks grow wide. Squirrels circle. Squirrels hide. Squirrels rustle. Squirrels leap. Squirrels climb and squirrels sleep. The end. scissors um, to cut it out. I already did that so here's our squirrel and a little acorn that's going to go between his paws. Um, the hardest part about this craft is going to be waiting because you're, since it's standing up you're going to want to do both sides. I'm going to do the backs first um, and then you're going to need paint. Um, I made a light brown by mixing brown and white um, for the bottom of the acorn. The regular brown is for the top of the acorn, the gray is for the squirrel's fur, and the white is for his tummy, his little tummy white. Um, and you'll see I have a fork, um, it's just a plastic fork. And what we're gonna do is when we paint the squirrel, I'm doing the back first, um, all we're gonna do is dab some on, we're gonna make it so that it looks like like hair, like fur. So you can do it in all different directions, however you'd like. Make it as full as you want. Just remember the thicker it is, the longer it's gonna to take to dry. So um, just keep that in mind if you're not very patient because we're gonna to wanna to do the front of it. Um, and then the face here, um, you can see a little face. I'm gonna to try to like make a face out of the paint so we'll see how that goes. Okay, now so it's completely painted both sides. Um, see a little more gray I want to move in here. Um, we're just gonna let this dry. And then when we come back, I will show you how to um, assemble it. Um, one thing you will need to get, which I forgot to mention, was a um, glue stick. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. I always forget to mention something, it seems. But yeah, so we'll do the glue stick. Um, 
We'll fix the squirrel all up so they can see it in. Alright, he looks a little concerned. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, that's what we'll do. A little smile. So. Okay, so it should take a little while to dry and then we'll come back and finish them up. Okay, so now that it's all painted and dry, all we have to do is fold it and assemble it. Um, I do have this paper clip here. If you got a craft to go kit from the library, you would have one. I'm going to use that to keep the acorn on, but anyway, you might not remember, you can barely see there are lines here by the arm and the leg. Those we're going to fold in. Um, they don't have to be perfect, but you just want to fold them in and up. Um, I guess the face is a little damp. Okay, um, so we've got that. So those are all in. So that's how he's gonna stand. And we're gonna fold the tail back. So straight back like that. So if you want, you can stand him up and he'll be flat. But I'm gonna take the glue stick that I'm gonna use for the acorn and I'm gonna go ahead and curl it. I don't know if you can see that well. Just because sometimes squirrels have a nice curly tail. So that's kind of cute. You can see both sides of it. And it does stand flatter that way. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to glue the acorn. You can do it how you want. You can have them hold it like this. Um, but I'm going to put it between those little paws. So I'm just going to put a glob of glue stick on the inside of each paw. Remember it's okay to use too much, it will dry clear. So we got that and that. Oops. And then pinch the acorn right between its paws. And like I said, it's kind of dry there. But just to make sure until it's completely dry, you might want to put a paper clip on so it stays and you don't have to hold it the whole time. But that's about it. Um, once it's completely dry, we take the paper clip off and glue stick doesn't take very long to dry. And you have your little squirrel holding an acorn. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed their Squirrel Appreciation Day, and we'll see you next week on We're Reading Virtual Storytime. Bye-bye.